What's up, YouTube? It's your boy, Leo. So, so man, back here again with another video. <laughs> Today, we got a. Uh, this is another one by Ryan George over at Screen Rant. We got the Falcon and the Winter Soldier pitch meeting. We're going to check it out because this last previous one's on. Uh, what was it? Godzilla versus King Kong. Um, no, it wasn't King Kong, but Godzilla versus Kong. And uh, Zack Snyder's Justice League. They were all really good, so we're going to check it out. 3, 2, 1, see what he has to say. So, you have a new Marvel show for me? Yes, sir, I do. This it's going to be called funny. The Falcon and the Winter Soldier. Okay, okay, what characters okay. is it going to follow? The Falcon and the Winter Soldier. That explains the title. Great work so far. Yeah. <laughs> so Sam is struggling with the fact that Steve Rogers left him the shield, right? So he gives it to a museum. Oh, okay. And Bucky's dealing with some government-mandated therapy and hanging out with his buddy, this really old guy, yes, Yuri sir. Nakajima. Oh, that's cute. Whose son he murdered. Oh, my God. Yeah, well, he did it while he was brainwashed. <laughs> oh, my God. He's kind yeah. of building up the courage to tell Yuri about it as part of his recovery. So he's yeah. like trying to get over having been the Winter Soldier. Exactly. Okay, and so then the government names this guy John Walker as the new Captain America. Oh, I hate this guy already. He actually doesn't <laughs> seem like such a bad guy. Oh, but he's such oh. a bad guy. Okay. But he's not that bad eventually, kind of. But not great. Oh, I don't know how to feel about this guy, but I'm captivated. Anyway, so then we're going to find <laughs> out about this terrorist organization called the Flag Smashers. And what's their deal? Well, they want the world to go back to the way it was before everyone was snapped back because everything's all messed up now. Messed up how? Well, this organization called the Global Repatriation Council are trying to get things back the way they were before the blip because now people are living in each other's houses. There are refugees. It's a mess. And so what's their plan? <laughs> oh, well, about 20 of them have taken super soldier serum and their plan is to get out there and you just... Go get, you know, go get, go get it done. What? They're gonna head out what? there, go get at it. It is kind of vague. All taken care of. I don't get what it, what? Listen, yeah, sir, they have yeah. a vague plan. Probably yeah, see, exactly. I'm gonna need you to get all the way off my back about what it is exactly. Right. Oh, okay, let me get off of that thing. Anyway, <laughs> so their leader is this surprisingly young lady, Carly Morgenthau, and she wears a mask and she's like mean, but you kind of get where she's coming from. It's just that her methods are questionable. Oh, it sounds a lot like that Enfys Nest character from Solo, a Star Wars story. Oh, yeah, I guess it does. Well, we'll make sure to make it different enough. Okay, oh, good. Wow. Who should we get to play her? How about that Enfys Nest actress from Solo A Star Wars Story? <laughs> oh, yeah, wow. she's great. Good call. Great. So what's her deal? Good Why call. does everybody look up to her? Well, because she keeps saying things like our movement is strong. Okay. It's time to make okay. ourselves heard. Alright, is she like super charismatic or something? No, she just quietly says vague things and everyone's really into that apparently. Well, okay then. So what else is going on in the show? Oh, well, we're going to tackle some man. really important <laughs> topics like racism in America. She's oh, we team. are. Yeah, we're going to have this whole storyline with this old african-american super soldier isaiah bradley that the government did tests on really heavy stuff well yeah important stuff to tackle for sure yeah also baron zemo's gonna do a little dance what well we gotta balance out oh, yeah. some of the heavier Dude, stuff with some lighter stuff so baron clip, zemo's like gonna hit minutes, the dance floor okay what's zemo doing in the show anyway well bucky and sam realize they need his help so they break him out of jail and he's much sassier now well <laughs> great yeah so they head to this city called madripoor because they want to find out where the super soldier sarah being made right and while they're there they're gonna meet Sharon Carter she's from the movie she is and there's exactly. this mysterious person in Madripoor called the power broker and we don't one, know one, who it is is it tired. Mephisto it what? Is no like sorry I'm still a little riled up from the oh, man. <laughs> now this power broker Mephisto. person seems to be a very influential person in Madripoor they're pulling a bunch of strings they have crazy access to stuff okay anyway mm -hmm. so Sharon Carter seems to be a pretty influential person in Madripoor she's pulling a bunch of strings she has crazy access to stuff oh so Sharon is the power broker what That's, no yeah, see, i feel see. like with the clues you've laid out though <laughs> it's not mm -mm, nobody knows yeah who the power everyone broker saw it is. coming like, it's you pretty know obviously saying? her though it also zemo's so gonna obvious. put on his purple mask from the comics so oh why does he put that on because it's gonna look good in the trailer Heck, can't yeah. argue with that and so the flag smashers they start doing really intense stuff like they bomb this grc headquarters place kill a that bunch of innocent up. people oh carly straight up calls sam's sister and threatens his nephews so she's like full-on evil no actually we're gonna act like she's misunderstood I don't know. Seems pretty intense. Yeah, we're gonna act like she's misunderstood. No, you she's... say so. So eventually, her and the Flag Smashers are gonna fight against Walker and his partner Lamar, and we're gonna see that Walker's taken some super soldier serum. Oh, he has. Yeah, sure. one of Carly's people is holding Walker because their plan is to stab him to death because he's a symbol. But then Carly accidentally kills Lamar. Oh no. Yeah, so then Walker runs over to Lamar and the Flag Smashers. They all run away. Well, why don't they finish the job and kill Walker like they were trying to do? Well, because this part of the scene is over, so they scatter. Oh, okay. <laughs> And then Walker gets all mad Sober. and he kills that guy that was holding him so that Carly could stab his heart. Okay, seems pretty reasonable. It's not so actually because the bad up, guy was down and a bunch of people.
people were watching. Right, yeah, no, killing is bad, but Bucky and Sam have killed bad guys too, right? Oh, no, they do for sure, but this yeah. guy was down and he was like, please don't kill me, so it's different. So maybe some of the people Bucky and Sam killed would have said that too if they hadn't died so quickly. I guess we'll never know. Because they died. Because they died, yeah. So then Walker <laughs> gets fired as Captain America it's and so he starts true, to though. make his own shield. Yeah, I bet that's going to come into play later. Yeah, no, not really, though. It gets smashed immediately when he starts fighting with it. Right, that true. wasn't vibranium. I guess that makes sense. It's just kind of a metal circle, really, but we're going <laughs> to hype it up in a post credit scene. Sure, why not? So Sam is going to start training with the real shield, you know, how to lodge it into things, how to make it bounce and come back. Yeah, yes, how sir. does the shield work exactly? Well, it works however I need it to. Uh, that thing doesn't look at okay, all. So anyway, That's by the finale, so. the Flag Smashers are going to have a pretty clear objective. Oh, they are? Yeah, they're going to kidnap a bunch of GRC senators so they can't pass a resettlement vote. And so Carly sets a truck of hostages on fire. Okay, so we're done trying to paint her in a sympathetic light, oh, right? No, man. we're still trying. She's... Oh, she's... Okay. And get this, we're gonna find out that Sharon is the power broker. Right, yeah, I figured that out. No, you didn't. Who else would it have... This is a big twist that I... <laughs> this is a big twist. Yeah. That I wrote. Okay. So then Sam okay. is gonna show up, and he has this new Captain America yeah. flight suit that the Wakandans made for him. Yeah. Oh, he does. Yeah, it looks this so great. He's fully protected, except the top of his head where his brain is. Oh, protecting everything except your brain yeah. cage is tight. And so Sam's gonna tight. have to save a helicopter full of hostages. Oh man, it's gonna be tough for him to take out the pilot and make sure the chopper doesn't crash. Actually, it's gonna be super easy. Barely an inconvenience. Oh, Barely. Really? Yeah, it turns out one of the kidnapped senators on board that very helicopter knows how to fly the helicopter helicopter so she takes over oh hey yeah that worked out great it sure did and so eventually carly's gonna be trying really hard to kill sam because she's a sympathetic character and then sharon's gonna shoot her dead so it's Dude, very sad i kind of i'm not and then lie. sam's gonna carry her body because it's definitely I a sad want moment him to and die. then he's gonna talk to some really senators did. oh he is yeah he's gonna be like stop calling the flag smashers terrorists well i mean they literally used violence and intimidation against civilians in pursuit of political <sighs> aims which is I mean... you know the definition of terrorism <laughs> gonna tell them to not say that and then he's gonna keep lecturing them for four to five minutes okay and one of the senators gonna be like okay but logistically what are we supposed to do here and sam's gonna be like do better senator oh you know that does sound like it's gonna help a lot it is wow 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 and so then wow, sam's wow, gonna wow. make sure that isaiah's story gets told <laughs> nice and then bucky's nice. gonna go talk to yuri and tell him what he did to his son oh it's gonna be nice to see how that plays out then we cut away yeah, we, oh, cut yeah, away. we get out of there fast <laughs> kind of wish you let that moment breathe nope i'm already gone before we even get to see the so moment I've been building up to all season. That's okay. how they and cut it, too. And then during the end credits, we're going to have like, the title card say Captain America I didn't and the Winter like, Soldier. So that's going to be a know, nice moment for Sam, you know. Man. Hasn't Bucky's whole arc been about not being the Winter the Soldier Bradley anymore? Stuff uh, really yeah, I guess I could have changed his title, too, huh? Whoops. Whoopsie. So what do you think? Well, they, it sounds great. I'm just not sure about that Baron Zemo would they dancing thing. That seems like a weird thing to include. Well, I keep seeing this gif of Thanos twerking online, so I feel like the internet's really going to like it. Okay, I mean, we can include a second of it, and if people want more we could release that online yes sir Hey everybody, Ryan here. Hope you enjoyed that video. I and did, if you liked man. it, feel free to click the like button and the subscribe button and all you know buttons and of I'm that nature. Sure. There are also like subscribe, hundreds bro. of other episodes on the channel that you can check out if you want. Also leave a comment down below letting me know what other movies you want to see pitches for. And check back soon for a new one, because there's gonna be right. new ones, you know? Okay, bye. We already know what the next one is, man. Mortal Kombat. It just came out. So <laughs> that was a good one by Ryan George. I'm gonna like the video. Leave a comment in a minute. Um, like I said, though, they pretty much went over everything that is uh, noteworthy about the show, you know, about the plot and, <laughs> and the story and the characters and how you're supposed to feel about the characters. Like the whole Carly Morgenthau thing with like, you, there's like, on one side, she's like, okay, she's doing these really extreme things. On the other side, you're kind of supposed to feel sympathetic for her because she is a young girl or whatever. <laughs> and then the whole, um, not liking, then liking John Walker is like pretty accurate because that's pretty much, uh, what happens throughout a lot of the shows like moments where you kind of like them like mainly towards the end i think or towards the middle and then it's like moments where you're like i hate this character you know but <laughs> this was another one from uh screen rant ryan george great job man made me laugh put a smile on my face face hopefully put one on yours um <laughs> let me know down below what you thought like comment share subscribe check me out follow me on twitch because i'm gonna go live on twitch either today or tomorrow i'm gonna be posting some gameplay vids i'm going to be talking i'm going to talk about how i'm going to do some live reactions with you guys over there so definitely go follow me on twitch and peace out